Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back. So as some of you may know, the Temtem developers recently put out a devlog discussing some of the content that's coming with the Temtem 1.5 update and I expressed in Monster Tamer news that I felt like based on what we have so far, I'm not really thinking this is going to be enough to revive Temtem or really make people want to come back beyond capturing the new mythical Temtem and then moving on. In today's video, I'm going to discuss why I feel that way and as usual, whenever I criticize something, I always have to give the disclaimer that these are just my personal opinions and given that there has been significant fall off in terms of Temtem player counts, I think that this opinion is at least in some way representative of the broader community that's sort of fallen off or fizzled out. But anyways, before we go into said opinions, let's quickly dive into what the devlog has stated is coming and do note that they said even more content is on the way. So there could be major pieces of content that are lacking here due to them wanting to keep it a surprise. But I feel like more likely than not, what we're seeing here is the bulk of it and anything else that hasn't been revealed yet will be supplementary. Anyways, the next update is going to bring forth the following changes. The new mythical Temtem and a route to find it on, a new challenge mode called the randomizer mode which as it sounds will add randomization to the game which notably won't be forced tied to Nuzlocke, the season 5 battle pass stuff, some polish to the layer system allowing for players to trade with one another in layers and only allowing one revive per run per player, easier dojo matches which come with a smaller loot pool, changes to free tem making it ask for specific temtem rather than a blanket release x amount temtem, die previews for the luma drop store, and some more pvp and battle pass related stuff. You can read the article for yourself linked below if you're interested. Now, when I first read this, I couldn't help but feel like a lot of what was present included updates and fixes to what we already have, with the only real new PvE content being the mythical Temtem and the route that's coming with it. Randomizers and Nuzlocke runs and all that stuff are cool, but when you play an MMO, you kind of play for that long time accumulated progress, and that's not something that could be done when you're resetting runs. Not to mention the fact that randomization, if I'm not mistaken, had already existed. It was just bound to the Nuzlocke options, and this is just sort of releasing it from that. But back to the new mythical Temtem, which is like the big appeal here. It's nice to see that we're finally getting Temtem number 175. However, the new route that's going to come with it will likely just contain a bunch of Temtem we've already seen, as they're not adding any more Temtem besides that, and not really anything else other than maybe some new items, trainer battles, and maybe a small story beat if we're lucky. For me, all this does is entice me to play to capture the mythical and then put the game down once again. Unfortunately, it seems like the main goal of Temtem now is just to push for PvP content in order to fund the battle passes and to sort of drip feed PvE content, which in many cases is further drip fed from there. I've mentioned this before, but the Temtem Paradise only allows you to play once per day unless you are willing to start coughing up Pan Suns, which in my opinion is a massive downgrade from Pokemon's Battle Frontier, which just allows you to play whenever you want. There are a lot of PvE related issues like this where it feels like on paper they're doing things that Pokemon fans have wanted to see for years, but there's always some type of caveat that makes it feel grindy or limited or executed in a way that doesn't really make you want to come back and do those things. Every time I've brought up some of my criticisms towards Temtem's PvE content, people were pushed back saying oh wait till 1.5 however if this is the bulk of what we're getting a lot of my arguments made in previous videos still hold adding a new temtem and a new route with some tweaks to some of the previous systems isn't going to be enough to bring a lot of people back for more than just a couple hours at most but conversely i could see the argument that there might not even be a point in adding a bunch of stuff to bring people back because maybe it's too little too late and the ship has sailed but i don't think that's the case I genuinely think if Temtem started to release new islands and new Temtem and stuff like that and focused on using that as the attraction to fund their battle pass system and whatnot, then they'd see a massive spike in players and revenue since every time an island was added during early access, things kind of got crazy. I say all of this not as someone who dislikes Temtem, in fact I think that there was so much potential here and I enjoyed Temtem for the single player content even if I do have my criticisms, but I just feel like that potential is getting squandered by sometimes questionable decisions. Temtem Showdown was kind of an example of where their priorities lie, and the fact that it was completely free with no microtransactions or anything and just a battle simulator makes me think that it was only released in order to drive up the competitive space so that more people in the actual game can buy the battle pass as there's more competition. However, from what I've seen and heard from some of the most diehard fans even a few months ago who have stopped playing now, it's just gotten stale. But all that being said, guys, this video is not to bash on the developers. I think Temtem mechanically, visually, and quality-wise is one of the best we've seen in the genre, and there's not really much of a debate on that. 
that, but sometimes that's just not enough. And I feel like Temtem is more of a game that you play, beat, maybe screw around a little bit in the post game and put down rather than something that you want to dump tons of hours into like a typical MMO. And I say this as someone who's dumped over 600 hours, most of which was just doing some hella grindy stuff that I'm not going back and doing. Anyways, guys, those are just my thoughts on the update. Again, there is a good possibility that we will be getting even more information that changes my opinions on this. But until then, make sure to let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Do you think that this will make you start playing again? If so, will it just be for the mythical Temtem or for more? But other than that, if you guys do want to stay up to date on all things monster taming, subscribe to the channel. You can also check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon linked below. And special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogo, Dark Persona, Exodus, and Candy Maruncy. And I'll see you next time. Peace.